So in this example, we're going to look at the following experiment in which we're going to find our displacement and velocity of our car. Suppose a car travels 100 kilometers north and then makes a 120 degree turn and continues for 87 kilometers. What is the displacement of our car and velocity if the trip took a total of two hours? So let's first draw our diagram for our trip. So our car traveled from point A to point B 100 kilometers. So this length is 100 kilometers. Then it made a, <coughs> a 120 degree turn this way and it traveled 87 kilometers. So this guy, this length is 87. So from point B to point C, it's 87. From point A to point B, it's 100. This angle, this angle here, this obtuse angle is 120 degrees. Note that because this line, if we extend the line outward, will be 180 degrees. And that means this angle must be 60 because 120 plus 60, a straight line is 180. So, Note that the distance our car traveled is different than our displacement. The distance is the actual path our car took. So, going from point A to B to C is our actual distance. So, 100 plus 87 gives us 187 kilometers. Now, this is not the same thing as our displacement. Our displacement is the net distance or the shortest path that our car could have taken to go from point A to point C. So we simply draw a line, we connect point A and point C, and this represents our displacement. So how do we find our displacement? So we know one of our angles, and we know two of our three sides in this triangle. And that means we can use a trigonometric function. Let's use sine, because sine gives us sine of this angle equals displacement divided by our hypotenuse. So, once again, sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, and since we know this and we know this, we can now find our displacement in the following way. Sine 60 equals displacement divided by 100 kilometers, our distance from point A to point B in this triangle. We bring over our denominator, so 100 times sine 60 equals our displacement, and we plug this guy into our calculator, and we get 86.6 kilometers. So now this is our displacement, so we found one of our uh, parts of this problem. To find our velocity, we recall that the formula for velocity is displacement over time, not distance over time, because, ve uh, because velocity is a vector. So, velocity equals 86.6 kilometers, our displacement, divided by our time of our trip, and that gives us 43.3 kilometers per hour. So, this is our velocity, and our direction is this way. Now, notice that this is not the same thing as our speed. Our speed, if we want to find our speed of the car, we have to take our total trip, so it's 187 and divide that by our total time which is 2 and that would give us uh, 93.5 kilometers per hour. So that's not, the same, that's not the same thing as this guy. 